friends. Welcome to your yoga flow for fluidity and motion. So today's practice is going to be all about connecting to that fluid motion of our body. We're going to be going through various sun salutations. We're going to really cultivate movement in every joint and every muscle. So I want you to really just dig into your heart, dig into your body and allow every movement, every posture to feel good and help you release tension and all that you no longer need. All you will need is yourself and your map and no other props. So if you're ready, let's get to it. All right, let's begin today at the back of your mat. And what we're going to do is start in child's pose, so bringing your knees together, your feet together. And let's release the body all the way forward, reaching your fingertips to the front of your mat, resting your forehead on the floor. We're going to start by adding movement. Again, like I mentioned, today's practice is all about movement. So in, even in static positions, we're going to use movement and motion to check in with ourselves. So notice how your body feels in this very moment. Notice how this very little rock left and right feels on your body. Perhaps you can pinpoint any sort of areas where you hold more tension. Maybe you can allow this motion to bring you into the present awareness. And that is going to be the intention of our practice today is movement and release of all that no longer serves us while at the same time cultivating presence and true awareness of every breath, of every movement and every posture. Yeah, so take another inhale. Really feel this in the shoulders. Exhale, slowly rolling yourself up, vertebra by vertebra, up to your knees. Inhaling, reaching both arms up towards the sky. Exhale, bend your elbows, squeeze the shoulder blades and open that heart center. Inhale, back up. Exhale, sit back down, child's pose. We can do that again a few more times. Slowly reach up, lengthen up. Bend your elbows, squeeze. Inhale, reach up, exhale, dive forward into your child's pose. Two more, maybe a little bit faster with the motion here. Inhale, reach up, exhale, squeeze and open. Inhale, up, exhale, dive down. Last time, inhale, reach it up. Exhale, squeeze the shoulder blades, bend your elbows. Inhale, back up. Exhale, child's pose. Inhale, rounding vertebra by vertebra, coming forward and just moving your body slightly forward as you arch. It's almost like a cat cow, except we're moving through this variation, sitting back into child's pose. Inhale, you round forward, you arch the back and come on back to child's pose two more times. So starting to create heat in the body, warming up your spinal cord, warming up your shoulders. One more. And again, just allowing this movement to connect you deeper to how you're feeling in this moment. One more time, inhale, roll forward. Now this time, come all the way down with the hips as you open up into your upward facing dog and try to lift your thighs off the mat and make sure you're not sinking into your neck so drop the shoulders away from the ears elongate through the neck hold it here exhale I want you to lift the hips all the way and see if you can just hold and feel this really incredible stretch of the tops of your feet now if this is too much of course you can release the toes and repeat the same movement with me with your toes tucked under but if you can just see how that feels on your body first 
what we're gonna do is move through this movement again dropping the hips upward dog exhale lift up into this variation of a downward dog with the pointed toes and again drop it down and once again my friends if this is too difficult on the feet keep those toes tucked under and in a more downward dog variation inhale up exhale last one inhale lower exhale up this time release the toes and coming into our downward dog in our downward dog we're gonna bend your knees and just extend for four times inhale exhale before we go deep into this asana we're gonna warm up the body we're going to welcome movement welcome fluidity imagining yourself moving it like water moves in a river have you ever watched a flowing river you notice how the water always interferes with the rocks and the earth but it always finds a way to move itself through those blockages restrictions and let's think about that in our practice today so move your body wa walk out your downward dog and imagine where those blockages are in your body where is that restriction being held and just like water finds its way through while using movement and fluidity work your way through these blockages today so give yourself the movement that you need. Maybe you want to keep walking it out on the spot. Maybe you want to add some shoulders. Maybe you want to bring your chin up and down to release any tension in the neck. Really have fun with this practice today, okay? This is your practice. I'm simply just the guide here. I want you to modify and adjust it to every way that you need. Now, as you're walking it out, just open up your feet just a tad wider, maybe hip width apart or so. Elongate through the neck, drop the heels as far as they will go. Again, remember if this is too much on the hamstrings, you can keep the knees slightly bent. Beautiful, hold here in the downward dog, breathing in deeply. Exhale out. Inhale again exhale out inhale bend your knees start to roll vertebra by vertebra tuck that chin into the chest coming forward into plank exhale push back downward dog now notice how i roll my spine i round through the spine into plank then i lead with the hips in a slight arch of the back as i push myself to downward dog and again coming forward exhale push it back so now the trick here is to connect your movement with your own breath. Exhale, bring it back. Deep breath in, into the lungs, into the heart, into plank. Exhale, push it back. One more. Push it back and hold this downward dog. Breathe it in. Exhale, walk your feet now to the very front of your mat. Let's take about four steps, maybe six, even if this feels better. Once you come to the very front of your mat, we're going to slightly bend our knees to protect our back and the hamstrings and just allow the arms to dangle as you rock yourself left and right. And again, adding as much motion here as you need. Maybe you wanna grab your opposite elbows and really focus on allowing your head to be super heavy here. Maybe nod your head up and down if that feels good. Beautiful. Slowly from here, let's release. Bend your knees and we're gonna roll up for three, for two, and one drop the shoulders finding that center that grounding feet together really feel yourself grounded and centered as we take our inhale we reach both arms up to the sky opening through that heart look up exhale palms together dive yourself all the way to the earth forward fold 
inhale halfway you lengthen through the spine look forward exhale let's take two steps back into high plank position chaturanga dandasana or maybe knees chest chin if you want to modify opening up into upward facing dog and exhale pushing back into downward facing dog inhale lift the heels bend your knees look to the front of your mat hop forward inhale halfway lengthen exhale forward fold inhale stand up look up reach up and exhale bring your hands into samastiti feeling that energy between the two palms of your hands hold your hands at your heart and then release them at your side. Let's do that again just a little faster. Surya Namaskar A. Inhale, open and reach. Exhale, dive it down. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees. Now this time you're going to step your right leg all the way to the back of your mat. Inhale. Now from here, exhale, step back into high plank position hold exhale chaturanga upward facing dog inhale exhale push back downward facing dog that same right foot that stepped back is now stepping forward top of the mat inhale exhale left foot steps forward standing forward fold inhale reach both arms up to the sky and exhale hands in samastiti and again inhale stand up reach and tall as you open exhale dive it down to the mat inhale halfway exhale bend your knees left foot steps back hold it here step your right foot back into plank position and then take your chaturanga upward facing dog on your inhale exhale push back downward facing dog left foot steps forward top of the mat hold it and then right foot meets the left foot top of the mat inhale both arms reach up stand up exhale hands in samastiti beautiful let's go right into surya namaskar b building up a little bit more fire inhale bend your knees sit nice and low utkatasana chair exhale dive it down forward fold inhale halfway exhale step back into plank position chaturanga upward facing dog on your inhale exhale push back downward facing dog right foot steps front of your mat left heel grounds as you reach up into your virabhadrasana one warrior one really think of pulling that navel into the spine you're engaging through the core center exhale dive the arms pivot the heel step back plank or single legged plank chaturanga upward dog and exhale downward facing dog left foot steps forward ground your right heel arms reach up holding the sphere bhadrasana one on the other side opening through the body as you dive deeper palms together dive to the mat pivot the back heel step back plank chaturanga upward dog exhale downward facing dog beautiful let's hold here for three breaths giving your body the opportunity to take all that heat in and use that heat that you're building to guide your body deeper into this asana really feel this elongation the back of your legs through your spine elongate the neck inhale lift the heels bend your knees look to the top of the mat hop forward <laughs> inhale halfway lengthen exhale fold inhale bend your knees come back up utkatasana exhale standing up into your samastiti one more round inhale bend your knees reach up utkatasana exhale dive it down inhale halfway exhale step back or maybe hop back into plank chaturanga upward facing dog 
and exhale, push it back, downward facing dog. This time, left foot begins by stepping forward, top of the mat, ground your heel, reach both arms up, warrior one. Good, let's just add some movement now, bending the elbows, squeeze the shoulder blades, one. Inhale, reach up, exhale, open for two. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, open for three. Get a little deeper if you can with that warrior one. Inhale, reach up. Dive the hands down, pivot the back heel, step back, plank, chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe it out, you guys. Stay with me. Right foot steps top of the mat. Left heel grounds as we open and reach into our warrior one. Let's add movement and fluidity into this asana by bending the elbows. Squeeze the shoulder blades as you look up. Inhale, reach. Exhale, squeeze for two. Reach. And three. Reach. And four. Inhale, reach, exhale, dive it down. Pivot the back foot, step back, plank, chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe it out for three breaths. If you like to add movement here, feel free to bend your knees on your inhale. Exhale, stand and extend for one. Inhale, bend your knees. Exhale, press it away. Good, one more. Exhale, press it away. Inhale, lift the heels. Bend your knees, look forward, hop to the front of your mat. Halfway lengthening through the body. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees, come on up, Utkatasana. Hold it here. Breathe, lift up a little bit higher. Exhale, hands in your Samastiti. Beautiful. Just take a second, recenter yourself, your mind, your present awareness. We're going to keep moving and breathing through this practice on your next inhalation. Bend your knees and just reach as you lengthen up and all the way back if you can. Exhale, palms together, dive all the way down. Inhale, halfway lengthening through the body. And then as you exhale, bend both knees, step back into plank position. Chaturanga Dandasana, release the toes, inhale, upward facing dog. And then exhale, dip your right hip down as you turn and look over your left shoulder. Just look towards the back of your mat. Exhale, back into up dog. And then other side, same thing. So feeling this lengthening through the side body as you look towards the back. Back into upward facing dog. Exhale, lift up, downward facing dog. Beautiful work. Inhale, let's reach your right leg up towards the sky. Three-legged three -leg dog, hold it here. Point the toes. Bend your right knee. Open and stack your hips. So feeling this opening through the hip joint. And then let's do some hip circles to really bring movement and fluidity into the hip joint. So you're just gonna bring the hips square, knees together, and then up to the side and open to that three-legged dog for one. So really trying to exaggerate this hip circles as much as you can for two, and three, if you notice any sort of crackling in the hips, that's totally fine. We're just releasing any stagnant energy there. Any tension, soreness. Good, one more time. Open up and stack your hips. Hold it here, deep breath in. Exhale, allow this right foot now to drop all the way to the mat as you come up into flip dog or your wild thing, reaching your right fingertips up towards the sky as you pull with the belly button, pull with the heart. Hold it here. Drop the hips and just lower, reach the hand towards the back of your mat and then lift up and open for one. Inhale, lower. Exhale, push and arch for two. 
inhale lower exhale three one more time and four let's hold it here see if you can reach for that elbow maybe and open an arch even more if that's within your practice if not just keep reaching the fingertips towards the front of your mat arch and open beautiful release the hand pivot yourself back into three-legged dog stepping your right foot to the front of your mat crescent lunge as both arms reach up to the sky inhale exhale dive the hands down with the chest towards the knee but the hands are actually going to come through and all the way back so we're actually going to really work on the balance the strength of the lower body while adding movement and motion to the upper body inhale open exhale swing it through for two inhale open exhale three inhale open exhale four hold it here and just interlace the fingers behind your back extend through the elbows see if you can lift those fingertips up towards the sky and then guide yourself up with the heart opening up crescent lunge shift all of your weight now towards that front foot bringing yourself up left knee towards the belly button hold it here hands are interlaced behind your back exhale push that left foot back three-legged dog excuse me <laughs> warrior three <laughs> i'm already in the three-legged dog here apparently <laughs> so finding that presence holding it here hold that warrior three bring it back up knee towards the belly button find that balance exhale one more time push it back warrior three inhale bring it up lift that knee towards the belly button and then from here planting your ankle top of your right knee keep the fingers interlaced and just release the index fingers as you release down into your standing pigeon and keep reaching those index fingers up towards the sky find that balance find that breath that awareness that focus elongating through the neck slowly come on up good job you guys bring that knee up to your belly button release the foot release the hands inhale lengthen through the body exhale dive into mother earth inhale halfway lengthen exhale just take two steps back plank position chaturanga upward facing dog exhale push it back downward facing dog beautiful hold it here and adding bending of the knees if you like it bend your knees and extend for three bend get low for two if you don't want to add movement here you can just stay in your downward facing dog last one hold and breathe inhale and exhale once you're ready left leg reaches now up towards the sky holding this three-legged dog then we're gonna bend your knee and you're gonna stack your hips so think about that left hip coming over top of your right hip really feeling this opening and then what you're gonna do is give me those hip circles so we're gonna bring it in towards the knee and open for one and two three one more good opening stacking your hips good stay where you are and if you're comfortable with this go ahead and flip your dog by releasing the toes to the mat extending that front foot first let's just reach with the fingertips towards the sky so creating that beautiful straight line with the arms and the upper body 
Good. And then we're just going to lower the hips. So you point the fingertips towards the back of your mat. And then you push up and arch for one. Inhale, lower. Exhale, push and arch for two. Inhale, lower. Three. Lower. One more. Four. Let's hold it here and then see if you want to reach and grab that elbow to really exa exaggerate this opening. Maybe keep your head down. Just see what feels good. Remember, this is your practice. Breathe it in. Exhale, release. Guide yourself back up, three-legged dog. And then tuck that knee to the chest as you step forward with your left foot top of the mat. Inhale, crescent lunge, open, release your chest. Let's work with just the upper body. Dive the heart towards the knee as the arms come back. Inhale, reach up and open. This requires a lot of that lower body power and strength and balance. So stay with your breath. Exhale. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, reach back. Hold it here, interlace your fingers. Extend through the elbows and see if you can keep that chest low towards that front knee as the arms reach up. Beautiful, hold it here. And then exhale, allow the arms to guide you up. Crescent lunge as you open up that heart center, get nice and low with your hips. Beautiful, now shifting our weight towards the front, towards that left foot, right knee up towards your belly button. You can flex the foot if you want a little bit more power here because you can imagine like you're pushing that foot away from your body into your warrior three. Shoulders are square, hips are square. Inhale, one more time, just bring that knee up. Exhale, push, press, press, nice and slow. Movement with control here. Beautiful. Breathe it in. Slowly come on up. Bring that knee towards the belly button. This time, right ankle top of your left knee as your right knee opens. And then slowly begin to release into standing pigeon while we release the index fingers all the way up towards the sky as well. So get low with your heart, with your chest. Find your balance. Breathe deeply. Just using this opportunity to find that awareness. We're creating a lot of heat, a lot of movement through the body. But then there's also moments of stillness that allow us to stop the movement of the mind. Good, slowly come on up. Bring that right knee up. Release the foot, release the fingers. Inhale, both arms reach up to the sky. Exhale, dive it down. We're continuing to just move and flow here, my friends. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, step back, plank position, Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward facing dog as you open up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Beautiful. Inhale, lengthening through the spine as you slowly come into plank. So vertebra by vertebra, you come through. Shoulders above your wrist. Shift your weight over to your right hand. Stack your feet and reach your left arm up towards the sky into your side plank. Holding the side plank, breathe deeply. Begin to pull the top knee, your left knee towards your body. So single legged side plank and then step your foot in front of you along the center of your mat. Reach a little bit taller, a little bit higher and then see if you can bring the fingertips all the way towards the front of your mat. So feeling this really beautiful opening and sensation through the side body. Now we're going to draw half a circle here. And what this is gonna look like is you're gonna drop the hip. You're gonna bring the arm forward towards the back of your mat. So see how my arm comes actually in front of the knee. And then I draw that half circle up and open the body. 
So we bring it down and up, bring it down and up, one more, down and open and reach, hold it here. Slowly from this position, pull that foot back in towards your body and then see if you can cross the knees, so left knee over top of your right, and then bring that ankle behind your other ankle into a eagle variation in a side plank. It's a little tricky, but just do your best. And then you're reaching with the left fingertips towards the front of your mat. And going as deep as you can to really stimulate the digestive organs, so we're constricting a lot of our internal organs here. And then when we release, we stimulate fresh blood flow into that area of the body. So beautiful detoxifying asana here. Could be a little awkward for some people, but it's okay, just do your best. Slowly bring your left hand down. You're going to pivot, so stay in this variation of an eagle and then once you pivot I want you to open over towards the other side so now you're on your right foot left hand stays on the ground right fingertips up De sink deep and deep and low towards this eagle variation and then release it and see if you can extend the bottom leg bring that knee towards the belly button other leg is straight. Good, come back over to center. Left knee towards the chest. Push it back, plank, chaturanga. Awesome, guys. Inhale, upward facing dog. Breathe it out. Exhale, downward facing dog. We're gonna do that again on the other side. So just stay with me. Stay with the breath. Inhale, round forward into plank. Exhale, open into side plank. Now onto the left hand, right arm reaches up. Begin to bring that top foot, so your right foot towards the left knee. So top leg is bent. And then drop the foot in front of you along the center of your mat. Continue to reach with those fingertips. And then see if you can reach towards the front of your mat to really stimulate and open that side body. Now let's work with those half circles. So as you remember, you're gonna drop the hips, bring your body forward, reach the fingertips towards the back of your mat, and then bring it around in a half circle as you open. So bring it back and open. Bring it back and open. Bring it back, one more time. Open up, lift and hold. Beautiful, my friends. Now from here, go ahead and come into those eagle legs. You're gonna bring that foot behind, bend your knee. Good, hold it here. Breathe. Maybe do a mudra with that top hand. Slowly, right hand back down. Just pivot yourself so you're turning, opening now to the other side, so same thing. Maybe reaching the fingertips to the front of your mat. And then we extend. This is where you can get a little tricky, but what you're gonna do first is release the eagle. Then begin to extend that knee that's bent. So the left foot extends, the right leg draws in. You come back down to your plank, knee to chest, extend a back plank position, chaturanga. Well done. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, push it back, downward facing dog. Breathe it in, let it go. Beautiful. Inhale, step your left foot towards the front of your mat, but then slightly towards the left. So front left, coming into eagle, uh, excuse me, your lizard pose. You're allowing your hips to release down as far as you're comfortable here. Maybe the back knee drops towards the mat. Maybe it stays off the mat. So really just check in with yourself. Notice how this position feels on the body. If you're comfortable to roll the foot to the lateral side and allow the knee to fall away from you, that's great. 
Now let's add that beautiful movement to this position. So what we're gonna do here is almost like we're doing a push-up, chaturanga push-up. So keep those elbows in. You're just gonna drop the forehead down and then exhale, lift the forehead up for one. So we drop it down and two. Find that breath, find the movement, find the fluidity of this movement in your body. Connect with it with each inhalation and exhalation. One more. Exhale, hold and open. Drop that knee, reach your left arm all the way back. See if you can bend the knee and grab the toes and just begin to pull the heel towards your glute. Maybe that knee opens, maybe it's more comfortable for you to keep it more centered. Just do whatever feels right. Beautiful. Slowly release. Bring your hand forward. Tuck your toes. Lift the back knee. Make sure now that left foot is grounded. We're going to transition into Malasana before we take it to the other side. So to do that, just open up your left toes slightly away from you. So they're kind of pointed towards that diagonal. Your weight is in your hands. Bend the back knee. Step your right foot towards the right edge of your mat and sink right into that malasana, nice. So you're coming in to a deep hip opening position, lengthening through your spine here. So really focus that tailbone down, crown of your head is up. And let's just add a little movement. Now normally in malasana, traditionally we wanna hold still, but today we're doing things a little bit differently. We're really focusing on that fluidity of the body, right? Checking in with the body. So sometimes movement actually is so healing for us. So just kind of shift your weight left and right. Maybe do a little shoulder movement. Just see what feels amazing on the body in this variation. Beautiful. Then at the very end, we can stop at the center and just hold that malasana. And notice that perhaps the movement actually helps you go deeper because it gives you that opportunity to release any sort of kinks out of the body, any tension, any sort of restriction. Holding your malasana, inhale. Beautiful. Exhale, release the hands, lift the hips. Heel toe your feet so they're a little bit closer together, hip width apart. And then see if you can bring the palms of your hands right underneath your toes, coming into a deeper forward fold. Inhale, extending and lengthening. And then as you exhale, just let your body go and relax here. If this is too much for you today, you can take an easier variation and just hold the backs of your knees. Hold it here, maybe the ankles, maybe your big toes. Or of course, if you're up for the full variation, palms under feet. Beautiful, my friends. One more inhale here. Exhale, let's release the hands. Bend your knees, just roll up nice and gentle. Don't rush the coming up. So you don't want to feel lightheaded or anything. So just take your time. Once you found your center, just take a second, open your eyes. On your next inhale, both arms reach. Your feet are apart here, so don't worry. Exhale, bend your knees and just dive it down. Let's do three more of these, focusing on the inhale, lengthening, reaching for the sky, lengthening the energy, and then exhale, just relax and let it go. Maybe make an audible exhale here to just let go of any worries, anything that's not serving your mind and your body today. Inhale, exhale, let it go. One last time, inhale. As you exhale, just give it up to Mother Earth. Surrender it away. Beautiful. Inhale, lengthen through the spine again one more time. Exhale, bend your knees. You're gonna step your left foot to the very back of your mat. And then just do a little heel toe of your right foot coming into our uh, lizard position on the other side. And again, we play a little bit here. So we notice where the tension is being held in the hips and the body. We adjust this posture to serve ourselves today. 
So maybe your knee is down, maybe your knee is up, maybe you're on your elbows. Just listen. If you like to add movement, stay with me here because we're going to inhale and drop our forehead to the mat and then exhale, push into the floor as you lift and open. Inhale, lower. Exhale, push and open for two. Inhale, lower. Three. One more. Open up. Four. Really feel this opening in the hips. Let that right knee fall away from you. Then drop that knee to the mat. Right arm reaches up and back as you grab that foot behind you and either stay here or begin to pull the heel towards your glute. Just notice how your body responds to this, how your hamstrings are feeling, how your quad is feeling here, how your hip is feeling in this position. Beautiful, one more inhale. Exhale, release, hand down. Tuck your toes, lift the back knee off the mat. Look forward, step your left foot top of the mat, Malasana. Opening your feet, coming up again. This time, instead of just swaying side to side, left hand down, right arm up as you reach up to the sky. Then you do half a circle with the body, switch. Find movement and breath together. Inhale, exhale, reach up. Inhale, exhale, reach up. Good. Close your eyes if this feels right and feels good on the body. Give yourself permission to go inward into the body. Good. One more. And up. Bring it in. And up. Hold it here. Maybe go into a bind. Maybe come back to center into just a regular malasana. Let's just breathe for a moment, opening those hips. If you're in your malasana, just continue to stay in that center. If you're in the bind, let's just release and go to the other side. So binding behind the other Nina as you open. Beautiful, one more, inhale, exhale, coming back through to the center, lifting your hips, extending your knees, heel toe, your feet, hip width apart, one more time, inhale, halfway lengthen, and then exhale, bring the hands behind your knees, and this time see if you can reach and grab the opposite elbows. In this position, just begin to relax and fold. With each exhalation, allowing your forehead to come a little bit closer maybe your knees are bent and you just want to stay here today that's totally fine as well just breathe deeply notice where the tension is held in the hamstrings and then breathe even deeper into that particular area of the body one more inhale bend your knees Exhale, release the hands, roll yourself up for three, for two, for one, just to finish off here today. Inhale, both arms reach up. Exhale, let's do four of those releases of the body as you just relax and let go for one. Inhale, reach up, stand tall. Exhale, oh, just let it go with an audible sigh. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, let it go. All that is not serving you today, that's weighing you down, I want you to exhale it out and away from your body. Inhale, reach up, lift up. Exhale now, release to the mat, hands stay down. Halfway lengthening, extending through the knees. Exhale, step back with both feet, plank position, chaturanga. Upward facing dog. And exhale, push back, downward facing dog. Holding for three breaths or giving me three of those knees coming down to the floor and extending for one. So this is your choice. Exhale for two. Bend. Exhale for three. 
and all together lift the heels, bend your knees, hop to the front of your mat, but this time I want you to land seated on your mat. Good. And then once you've come to your seated position, just scoot yourself forward, hug your knees, come on down to your back, knees come into your chest, and just begin to rock side to side, adding that gentle movement into this very easy and relaxing asana. Maybe do little circles with the knees. It should feel really good on your back. Good. Opening the hands out wide, feet grounded on the floor. Just allow the knees to fall to the left and then to the right. So we're finishing off with very gentle movement here and slowly slowing down the movement as we slow down the breath, slow down the heart rate. Good. Now one more time, allow both knees to fall towards your right. Keep your shoulders grounded, look over your left shoulder. Maybe you wanna go a little bit deeper and you can actually cross left knee over right. That'll allow you to go into a slightly deeper spinal twist here. Closing your eyes and just now focusing solely on your inhalation, exhalation. Allowing yourself to just surrender into the mat. Connect to the movement of your breath. When you're ready, just come back to center and switch to the other side. So knees either together fall to the left or maybe you're going a little bit deeper with the right knee crossed over left. And once you come into your spinal twist, look over your right shoulder at this time as your knees fall to the left. And then coming back to center, uncross your legs, hug your knees into the chest one last time, inhale. And then as you exhale, just extend and open into our final posture, Shavasana. Palms of your hands are pointed up to the sky, relax your shoulders. And now just focus on the movement of your belly, as you inhale and exhale. Each time slowing down the movement of your belly. So allowing your inhale to be longer and your exhale to be slower. As you let go of that air out of your body giving yourself permission to melt into the ground. Surrender, let go. Feeling yourself held by your mat, by the ground, by Mother Earth. Feeling yourself supported, protected. Releasing into this beautiful, safe space that you've created within yourself. And within this safe space, give yourself permission to breathe in love and healing. Breathe in beautiful, positive energy that will energize you and fill you up with strength and power in order for you to have a beautiful rest of your day. Deep inhale and a long exhale as you let go, releasing every muscle in your body 
allowing your face to be heavy, to be relaxed. Allow yourself to go deeper into this stillness, into this peaceful state of being that you're cultivating from within. And take it all in. Realize that this space within you is always here for you to enter whenever you need it. No matter how crazy, how busy your day may be today, you're always welcome to close your eyes and just go within. Check in. Let go. And reconnect with that pure energy of love that you are. As you're entering this beautiful space within you, if you feel like you wish to stay here for much longer, please do. Please be here as long as you need, as long as your day allows you to. However, if you need to get going, move on with your day, begin to bring awareness to your body by first welcoming movement into your fingers, into your toes, deepening your breath and then maybe moving your legs by bringing them closer towards your body as your arms reach over your head and then rolling over to one side into your fetal position and then up to your seated position on your mat Just finding this grounding, this balance, this peace. As you breathe in all that air into your lungs, into your belly, into your heart. Breathe it all out. Feeling yourself recentered, rejuvenated, and re energized. In your next breath, go ahead and reach both arms up to the sky and just feel this energy around you. Reaching up as tall as you can and then holding on to that energy and then bring it down and towards your heart. And once you're ready, bowing down to your own heart and thanking yourself for your incredible practice today for finding time in your busy day for yourself, for your health, and for your well-being. Thank you so much for joining me here today at beautiful Anamaya in Costa Rica. I send you all my love, all my light. Namaste. Thank you.
As you're rolling up your mat right now, I just wanted to say a heartfelt thank you for joining me and for practicing with me today. If you're looking to take your yoga practice to a deeper level, we would love it if you check out our Boho Beautiful official app. It is a streaming platform and an Android and iOS app that has tons of exclusive content. We've got full length classes, yoga calendars, workout calendars, and so much more. However, if that's not your thing, that's totally fine because the best thing that you can actually do to help us continue to bring free yoga to the world is click that subscribe button below because it'll help our content rise to the top and help us continue to do what we do. So sending you all my love. Thank you so much. And we'll see you soon.